Look what I found. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. If this is your first time watching one of my videos or visiting my channel, I'm Todd of TJ Coins. So please subscribe down below for more coin collecting and silver stacking videos. So I was sorting through some odd stuff. I just like threw it all in an envelope or a jar or something. I can't even remember where it was, where it was. but I was sorting through some odd stuff and I come across this very interesting piece. Now, if you saw the thumbnail, I did find this coin roll hunting. So if you want to check out that video, it's up there. It's up there. Go check it out. It was it was an incredible box. It was an incredible hunt. It is kind of a long video, but if you want to go watch it, go check it out. Um, but this is kind of like a little TJ throwback, like a throwback Thursday, but it's probably going to be on a week, another day. But uh, we'll call it throwback Thursday for now. This was an interesting find. I was, if you watch, go watch that video. I was really, really shocked because it came out like this. It covered up the hole. Well, maybe it didn't cover up the hole. It covered up the year, and I knew it was a V-nickel. And uh, when I saw the hole, I was disappointed, but I was like, still, it's a V-nickel. And if you check right here, it is an 1883. So it was a first-year V-nickel. First year. And it is in decent condition. As you can see, the stars around the edge. Everything looks nice. Liberty in the headband. It's just a really good, cool-looking coin overall. Really nice condition, except for that hole right there. And there's a reason why there's a hole in this coin. It's because it is a love token. Now, in the video, I'll put, I don't remember when this, that video was taken, but I'll put the date right here. Um, I was really disappointed. And I, this is when, really when I started out on YouTube. Really, it was a couple, it was probably a couple years ago. But I was really disappointed when I turned over this coin and I saw that the reverse had been totally shaved down and carved on. Um, but oh well oh well um this who knows when this was done though that's that's the interesting part who knows when this was this love token was created who knows like this could this could have been done in 1883 which would have been which would be a really cool piece of history in my hands right now so it is a really cool piece um i believe the initials if if the, if the person wore this in like a, a necklace or something, that's why I'm thinking the uh, the hole is there, so like a love token. I believe the letters are M and J. M and J. I don't know. Maybe it's an maybe it's a W and an R. You also can flip it this way. Maybe it's a W and an R. I don't know. It it's like they're connected, and it kind of just looks weird. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think it is. It's it's could be it's a, it's either an M and a J or a, ugh, or a W and an R. I'm not sure. But why would you make the W capital and then the R uh small case? I don't know. Um I tried I looked some of these up on eBay. They're going for I don't know 10 5 to 10 to 20 dollars each. So I don't I really don't know what this is worth. It depends on the collector, I guess. So maybe if your initials are either M J or W R, maybe you'd be interested in this piece a little more. You pay a little extra for it, or if like your if the husband's name is you know starts with an M and the wife's J or vice versa or W R or whatever whatever you have, this might be this might carry a bit of a premium because they might want to pay a little bit more for it. But um, I just thought I'd bring it out and put it in a video of its own because I didn't really give it uh, a lot of recognition in the other video because I found five buffalo nickels in that box, which is rid ridiculous. So, um, but yeah, I thought I'd make a quick little video showing you guys this interesting piece. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Have you guys ever seen a love token? Have you ever seen it on a V nickel? I know they're on dimes, silver dimes, quite often, I believe. But uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you in the next one. Peace out.